Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel Scorpio. I hope you are doing well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good Scorpio. This reading for today, this is for you. Let us see what is coming towards you Scorpio. What is the guided message that is meant for you to know? And ready for you to know this is for the Scorpio sign. You have an Ace of Cups. This reading for today Scorpio, we will pick up love career money and general situationship let us see what is coming towards you okay what is the guided message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know this is for the scorpio sign thank you guys it's really meant to come out i'm seeing this in the pre-shuffle what is coming towards you you're starting the reading with the ace of cups what can scorpio know what is the guided message for the Scorpio sign? Thank you, Scorpio, for supporting the channel. Let's see what is coming towards you. What is your guided message? What can I get for the Scorpio sign? You have the Ace of Cups, the Star card, the Ace of Pentacles in here, the Four of Pentacles, and the King of Wands. Okay, Scorpio, let's start your reading. <coughs> um... You've left your heart with this Ace of Cups, okay? Um, so, I'm really connecting Scorpio with the Star card, okay? You could, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, an Aquarius, a Capricorn, a Taurus, a Virgo energy. Um, you left your heart with this Ace of Cups, okay this is a missed opportunity and i think this ace of cups they were able to express their feelings their intention but they weren't able to put an action to their ace of cups towards you scorpio the ace of cups in here yeah you know this ace of cups this is a situation or a person in the past in the past they activated ego okay uh this ace of cups i think they were very vocal this ace of cups they're very vocal towards you okay the ace of cups this ace of cups they're very vocal they're very blunt they're very obvious about their feelings their intention but they never put so much action to secure whatever you have together because this is them if you look at if you look at the bird it is swamp by overthinking look at that okay so this ace of cups is a situation in the past or a person in the past that is still very much connected to you up until you watch this video um so they were swamp by overthinking over analyzing they have so many doubts with you or it's also possible that this person they've got a lot on their plate you know this is the person okay this is the person the situation it's possible they have many choices this is them there's so many swords pointing to them that they possibly overwhelmed with whatever they feel towards they weren't they were not able to express it properly um it's something to do with they have feelings but they were not very they have feelings they have interest but they were not able to express their feelings interest and convert it to an action okay this ace of cups the five of swords they were foolish i think one of the they have sinned over you they have disappointed you but i get that this person is very like um i'm kind of picking up a vibe scorpio that yep i have disappointed you scorpio i have an ace of cups feelings towards you i promise you this but i never secured you i never took action further um with the full card they will admit that it's their mistake so you can call me foolish heart scorpio it's it's my fault it's my fault 
I gave you a five of swords, okay? So someone has an ace of cups open offer towards you and they're very they admit that they made a mistake Scorpio you are the star card you can forgive this person or forget Scorpio I could feel that with the star card I could feel how you're perfectly balanced to where you want to go what you want to do and you have this spiritual alignment and confidence that if this person comes back to you you would know how to handle it i can also feel that you've got some because you know the star card in here you're soaked with the water so you have healed from this experience i could really feel right now scorpio when you watch this video i can see you forgiving forgetting this person it might not happen overnight you're no angel but i see you crossing the okay i forgive um i will forget you know like you you would cross you would cross over that forgiving and releasing okay it's not gonna happen overnight but because the star card this is fate and healing okay this is fate healing and moving on so and it's connected to this ace of cups so they're actually returning towards you like this person's situation is connecting or returning towards you in such a perfect timing because you're open healing moving on and you understand the past the star card in here you have so much understanding of the past and why it took place why it happened okay you also have some accountability towards you with the star card yeah the sun card you're happy now you're happy now you're healing you're happy you understand your path you understand where you're going you're faithful to yourself okay you're no angel you're not stupid too you can accept you can forget you can forgive but it it needs to be a line like if you can accept you can forgive you can forget but you know you use a lot of wisdom before you accept people so you're good okay you are the, in the right rhythm or journey or your like your healing and your path is open to the past whoever wants to come back just making sure that they're aligned to your request you know like you you know who to accept and not to accept okay yeah the four of swords look at that so the five and the four I get the feeling that when it comes to this person why not if you can bring me a solid offer why not okay so you're open to them but not to the extent that your foolish heart no and I believe this is the connecting energy this is you this is this person the connecting energy between the two of you right now up until the immediate future is an ace of Pentacles so you have an offer towards them this is the missing offer because they have an ace of cups but the actual action that you need to see you need to feel you need to receive they're now ready to provide it with you if you accept it again it would have to be approved by you they wouldn't be able to return if you wouldn't approve them yeah you're very wise now Scorpio you're the Queen of Pentacles you care about your life so much especially your resources your youth your time and that you don't want to make the same mistake so you're open to look into it but if if they're gonna give you the same result you would you wouldn't even entertain it so you're very wise you don't want to repeat the same mistake so you have a chance again with a previous ace of cups in here Scorpio now let's see what else is coming towards you you have the six of swords and the four of cups i feel like right now scorpio in terms of energy checked in i feel like there's something about the six of swords and the four of cups the six of swords this is about moving on or an actual traveling or from point a to point b like you're considering a different path okay um something is enlightened something is being enlightened or presented 
to you, Scorpio, and it's connected to a path that's always been mapped within your soul. Somehow, with the King of Swords, because the King of Swords, the King of Swords is very logical. The King of Swords is sitting in what the universe is supporting you, encouraging you, and suggesting to you. So, in the next couple of days, or at least, you know, the next three, four, six weeks, there's a part of you, Scorpio, that you have a lot of curiosity in terms of probably moving to a new job, moving abroad, moving somewhere else, or it could just be the way you move in life, okay? About the Six of Swords and the Four of Cups in here. I think in general, you look into, like, I'm kind of picking up, you look into where you are, like, this is where I am. There's a feeling of you've maximized everything in that area. You've maximized everything in that location. You've come through an end of something connected to work, life, movement, location, place, you know, and you're happy with how you have maximized the searching the exp exploring it's it's a feeling of three of cups it's like okay this is the four and the three it's a feeling scorpio where you know it could be all right i have applied with all of i have put my intention i've looked for job internally in my company i've maximized it there's no job for me it's time for me to look further so with the king of swords the universe and your higher self is somehow supporting you and encouraging you that if you feel like you've maxed out you've maximized the usage uh, the stay or something to do with you came to you feel like you've came to an end towards searching using maximizing then logically you've got to go out of your com comfort zone it's like a vibe like um you know you've always known like there's a part of you that you've mapped yourself that i'm gonna be here but then people change we change every day and it could be lately or maybe right now or in the next two to three weeks you will find yourself liberating enough that okay i've mapped like I have always map or s like I've I've always mapped myself to be here but things has changed and it's liberating yourself from your own self that I need to kind of move away or somehow there's a curiosity a soul mission to experiment what's out there Scorpio because I'm really picking up location you know like something is like there's a there's a spotlight connected that you've always you've always expected that you would retire here you would be here this is where you map your soul but somehow the next couple of days maybe right now logically if you look at where you are you're satisfied but maybe there's more so there's a liberating factor connected to your soul adventure moving on and what else is out there that somehow you're very like you feel powerful to experiment like you don't fear going out going after something outside of where you live where you work or something that you kind of pre-plan like I plan to stay here but maybe the next couple of days or weeks it could change like you're seeing yourself somewhere else logically it's because logically there's no more opportunity in here I max it out sunshine so you could experiment to that and I tell you if you do experiment on that you would be very happy to like for example okay you know what I've been living in this house for uh, 10 years it feels like it's time to me for it's time for me to move okay and you did you you are curious three of cups and you search something outside of where your comfort zone where you map yourself to be there and you're happy whatever experimenting curiosity you are so happy to look into that
okay? Like you're gonna play with the idea. It's liberating. It feels powerful, Scorpio, to look into that, okay? Now, you have the Hermit card. You've got the Four of Pentacles, the King of Wands. Hmm. So the Hermit card, the Four of Pentacles, this is what's coming towards you further, like more of the immediate future. Oh, the Tower card. They're breaking their silence. I feel like it's a person. Okay. Now, this is searching for you. There's a person who's searching for you, Scorpio. You know, it could be the same person, Scorpio, but, you know, this could be like family, lover, friendship. This is completely romantic. They won't let go, Scorpio. You know, this King of Wands, they like to write you love letters. Whenever this person texts you or message you, it's longer. I don't know, maybe this person is a text person. But they, like this King of Wands, they, like, this King of Wands is searching for you. I don't know how they will find you, but they're searching for you. It's possible you block this King of Wands, Scorpio. Okay? There's a King of Wands. They're searching for you. They're looking for you. And one of the quality of the King of Wands is that they write you email. They write long letters. They write long messages. If they cannot get into you, they will write. Like they have, I don't know, but this person's going to write you something, a message, a text. They're searching for you. They're looking for you. And let's see. I think you're hiding from them. Maybe you block this person. Yeah, you have conflict with the King of Wands. Your lips are sealed, Scorpio. I don't know, Scorpio. You don't want to talk with them. There's a, situ there's a person who they're searching for you. They're searching for you. You block them, breaking their silence. They're going to connect online. They're going to over-explain themselves. You're not okay with this person. You're hearing them, but you're not listening. It's possible that this King of Wands is someone of a romantic energy that really um, gave you a heartbreak. You're... you're you're hearing them, but you're not listening. I'm seeing a text message. You're reading it, but you're not absorbing it. Like you're not taking it seriously. Eight of Pentacles, yeah, it could, it's really August. You had the Emperor and the Seven of Cups. I'm sad. I don't know why I'm sad. Maybe this person, maybe you reach a point where it's hard to believe this person but they will shift from a king of wands to an emperor card so this is like breaking their silence messaging you messaging you convincing you it's like imagine someone selling you and convincing you but you're just hearing them you're not listening hearing you hear the sound but you don't perceive the thoughts so it is as if you listen, sorry, it is as if you read it, but you don't want to absorb it. There's something with you, Scorpio, that you don't want to believe it. From King of Wands, they will intensify the way they search for you or the way they're going to pursue you. And you're confused. I don't know, Scorpio, but you're confused. Take your time. Someone is coming and it's confusing. Or I would say, you don't want to believe them. Like, I don't know, guys, but... I could feel that you're, eh, I don't want to believe you, I don't want to believe you, I don't want to believe you. Maybe you're looking for some proof. They have proof, Scorpio. If you talk to them, they have proof. Eight of Pentacles, the Emperor card. But I don't know, you don't want to talk to them. It's like you're punishing this person, to be honest with you. Yeah, let them wait. I don't know what they did, but they speak, they speak the truth, they have proof, but it could be different person because this this one is lighter this is like growl with this person anyhow Scorpio good luck to you something this person is triggering you to be defensive like it's in your face but you don't want to listen they're telling the truth but it's hard for you to believe it 
So they might need to put more effort to convince you, Scorpio. And this is what I have for you, Scorpio. Thank you so much, guys, for supporting the channel. Thank you so much, guys, for being here. If you would like to further connect with me, click the bell, click subscribe, and I'll see you soon again, guys. You have a great day. Bye, Scorpio.